So, JD, yes. on the uh, Facebook page, yes. I've put a link to Patternicity. Right. Which is uh, a very big word. A very big I word. I think you need to, uh, need to explain what that word is, just in case we've got five-year-olds listening. Well, I think it's been made up. Is it? Um, but ah. I think, well, you can do a search on it. Right. It's a it's an art show in London. Oh right, so it's part uh, of art. It's okay. near the it's a it, I looked it up on a map, it's sort of near the elephant. Right. It's not it's not far from the College of Communication. Right. It's with the sort of area where I know where Yes, it, where and it I, is. and I now see it and how it's uh, it looks like patterns in the city. Well it could be that. Yes. yes. That's what I think. Oh well, I see I, patterns in the city. Yeah. Yes. Pattern. Ah. Oh. In I I for I in and then well, city. Yeah, well, let's look at it from that point of view then. Yes, okay. Because um, how how you get lots of data and movement in in uh, settings, that's quite interesting. But I, I I don't know that that's what what it's about. Mm. It's also about um, fabrics and yes, textiles, textiles, sculptures. Yes. He says reading the... Well, you're reading, re the, reading the thing. <laughs> yes. <laughs> but it's good, though, because I'm learning something as well. Because well, I didn't know what that word was no. until now. So there no. you go. You, we, we all learn something every day. Well, we do. Yes. So I think patternicity is... Mm. Um, well, yes, it's the nature of patterns, I suppose. Yes, patterns, I think. Is, but uh, I don't that, expect the word is used very much. But that's a, that's a good thing if people are trying to mm. find it uh, but, and uh, t take themselves to that event. So it's, it's, it's pattern, and then you've got I, and then city. So I would say that's patterns in city. OK. Well, let's that's how I remember it. Well, let's look at the city aspect. Yes. Well, it says it's, it's based in London, so that is a city. That so is we're, we're getting, a city. We're getting close. It is. And the... the mm. I, don't know how, I don't know whether it's exactly close to the Elephant and Castle, but the, that's a, quite an interesting area as well, because it's, mm. it's all going to be demolished and redeveloped and... Uh, so on, but that 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 wasn't what, where I wanted to start. I wanted to start just by saying it's J John Walter, who mm -hmm. you, you remember was hit was in the Phoenix with the Jezreel Tower, and also next door with the, the Joanna Southcott box in the mm -hmm. in the museum in the Ram mm -hmm. Museum, and um, so that was that was Pat's because there, there were costumes, mm -hmm. so that would have been fabrics, yes, and those those designs were in a pattern. And they were patterns in Exeter City. They were. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> they were. But also virtual reality. Yes. There, were, there was helmets, which Chris yeah. got into. Oh, yes. And did, uh, yes. John had a good go. I, I had a go with it as well. Yes. Yes. So whether that will come into it, it might I lend think. itself to... Because yeah. data can create patterns. I can see, I can see everybody in Exeter going round with these goggles on <laughs> in a different world altogether. It'd be fantastic. <laughs> yeah. So well, that would be that would be augmented reality. Well, you, it could be uh, like for tourists. Yes. You, you could have information about. You go into a building, you put a pair of these on, and it, sh it, will, it will show you where you are and what you're looking at. Yes. Instead of having to read everything, which people find sometimes boring you know and they prefer to look at the what they're looking at and uh, if they've got that information in front of their eyes at the same time that's quite good te technology yes well that and that would be that would relate back to patterns yes yes it's the pat vis visual representation of a pattern it's patterns in your eyes <laughs> yes but there's there's one other thing i just wanted to ask you about and that is um wall hangings yes because it, it occurred to me, see, I, I keep trying to get funding for a temporary radio studio. Right, yes. So we only need a few thousand pounds right. to um, get a, 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 a small well, computer I've, and a mixer. I've always and said, ever since I've been on this programme, you need a studio where it's not at, uh, attached to any radio station, which you can go and do some work in to add to your programme. Yes, so and, the, and you see these spaces come up every so often. There are em yes. empty shops or right. corners of other yes. buildings. Yes, um, and so we we say, well, okay, give it, we just need a bit of equipment, mm. and probably we could buy the equipment for the mm. sorts of money that mm. are spoken of. But we might rent it. Yes, let's rent say, it. yeah, um, if it was just a ten-day mm. thing or something. Mm. Well, but I think you need one because there are a lot of radio stations here in Exeter in 
Great Britain. Yes. You notice I have to put where we are oh, in yes. case uh, somebody uh, thinks I'm in Honolulu or somewhere like that. Well, there's other exits yes. in other places. Yes, well. they are. So we, we're in South Devon. So if in this city, what, you know, why we've got all these radio stations, there's nowhere to, for somebody to go and produce a show or interview somebody. This, this, this radio station hasn't got that facility to actually well, interview somebody in another studio. Oh, no, no. See what I mean? No, so, so, so they have to, be, one, it has to be live. If you had one connected somewhere in Exeter, which anybody could book for a programme or live or recording. Yes, that would be, that would be a very useful thing. Mm. But, J.D., um, I've, what I've concluded, or mm. one of my conclusions, is that if you want to, if you want to describe it as art... Mm-hmm. Uh, it's more likely to be visual art mm -hmm. that is recognised. Mm -hmm. I, I don't think if you just say it's going to be sound, mm. that uh, that's interesting enough. Mm. Um, but also, a lot of rooms aren't suitable because they're not muffled for sound. Mm -hmm. This is a thing I don't entirely understand, but it occurred to me, if, if John Walter and Patternicity mm. are going to get into fabrics... Mm. They might get into wall hangings because there's a, there's a sort of tradition of tapestries mm. um, that that can be woven and hung on the wall. Mm. And there's also um, it's I don't really understand what it is. It's sort of like a light duvet. Mm. I've seen I've seen the more professional radio people who um, are sort of hiding under the stairs in a cubboard, but they've also lined the wall of the cupboard. It's like crocheting. Well, it might be yes. crocheting. Cro crocheting, or you used to do squares. I can't remember what this is. I'm trying to think of the name. Where you oh, you squares. Yes, there's lots of quilt. squares. Yes. Quilt, yes, yes that's which, right. which are, which are yeah. sewn together. Yeah. But could uh, you just describe... Do you understand the idea of a muffling sound by padding out the walls? And yes. Things like, well, so, that, well, so that's what you can do. See, in here, we've got boards on the wall. Yeah. All right, and, and that takes away the echo effect, right. which is, if you went and stand in, in a, a, um, a tube, um, tube waiting for a train, you're, when you're talking there, it's very echoey. Yes. So here we've got um, at least something which muffles the sound, the, uh, the high-pitched sound you get. Right. The early days, <laughs> they used to use egg cartons. Egg cartons? Yes, and stick them on the wall. I always remember that when I was <laughs> in a radio station. You went in there and they were painted. You didn't notice they, that's what they were. But that diffused the sound. Right. And that, so you didn't get an echo. You got the sound, a, a natural sound. Right. Well, if... if um I don't know what they're going to be doing at Patternicity, but we could just mm. ask them mm -hmm. if they if they get into fabrics, mm. uh, if they could think about some sort of wall hanging. Mm. So it would be decorative, mm. or, or you know, it would have content in mm -hmm. it. It would, it would be visual art. Mm -hmm. So um, John John Walters prepared to work with all kinds of images which he collects from other places. Mm -hmm. So I don't know about the other people involved in this in that. Patternicity, mm. but presumably the, the, there's ways of, of, of introducing images into this mm -hmm. um, that would be suitable for a, a temporary radio studio. Mm. But th that's a necessary element, isn't it? Because well, a portable one would be good because then you could go around any sort of art things or anything and just set it up. Yes. Uh, well, the, the spaces do become available. Um, I'm have to, having to go because oh. Mr Norton can't get in the back door. Oh, dear. So I, I oh. will go and help him in. OK. And well, you, you, we carry on yes, talking about I this. Yes, I should carry on. Well, I think, yes. I think we've sussed it. I think we've that's sussed as, it out. We, that's as much as we understand mm. it. Mm. So this is this is what we want. We want a, a design. Mm. We don't have a budget at the moment. We can't we can't no, produce we've anything. No, we've got no money. No, but we'd like we'd like a design <laughs> yeah. for um, a well, number. Give us money. 
Oh, no, if we get, <laughs> if we get the right promotion yes. or the right combination of factors, uh, right. JD, that, that'll work out. But we, we want some visually interesting, yes. um, technically efficient, muffling sound, wall hanging things. Right, okay. And um, you put th- it out there, with th- whether some- or not you get anything in response, <laughs> no. you so, never know. So, and I think we will include the London College of Communication mm-hmm. because they, they might have some mm-hmm. ideas okay. somewhere along the line. Right. Okay, I shall play another right. record while you try and find uh, Chris. I'll go and find Chris. <laughs> <laughs> 